So I told you guys I was only going to share the most exciting, fun, awesome details of my life, so I wanted to share this with you. I got a new chair. <laughs> oh, look at this thing. Ah, oh, man, it's a little used. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm a mob boss. Now bring him in here. Get him in here. I'm not going to hurt him. Just bring him in here. I got to talk to him. <laughs> yes, close the deal. Close the deal. Don't smoke. It's not good for you. You will die. Today's a big day today. Meeting up with some friends to go over our 2017 specific goals. What we want to accomplish this year. I would encourage you to do the same because I forget the statistics, but if you, I'm sure you've all heard before, if you write down your goals, you're, I think it's 60% more likely to accomplish them. So we're going to write down some goals and uh, see if we can't accomplish them this year. And even if we don't, we tried. And then I'm going to try some falfing, or <laughs> that's what we used to call it in Montana, falfing, frisbee, golf. You know, it's a fun word, but nobody says it down here in Southern California. They call it frisbee golf. It's not as fun, so I'm going falfing. So I'm still going to call it that. And then I'm going to close out the night with a birthday party at a barcade where you can pour your own drinks and also play classic video games. So I'll try to take you along for that as well. Um, but in the meantime, that was the worst transition idea I'll probably ever have because I just had to take my shoe back off to film it and cut up. Anyways, uh, first things first, I gotta write out my goals. I have a rough idea of them, but gotta write them out. Make them specific as possible as well. Um, I'll figure out that percentage for you still here. Okay, so I found it. Dr. Gail Matthews, psychology professor, gathered 260 people together, men and women all over the world, all walks of life, entrepreneurs, educators, healthcare professionals, divided them into two groups, those that wrote down their goals and those that did not. And she discovered those that write down their goals and dreams on a regular basis achieve those desires at significantly higher levels. In fact, 42% more likely to achieve your goals and dreams simply by writing them down on a regular basis. So how can, you, how can we afford not to write down our goals? That's what I'm going to do right now, and I would encourage you to do the same. All right, just wrap the list. I think it's going to be really good. It's attainable, uh, and I'm excited to start pursuing this goal. Let me know what you guys think. <sighs> there it is, 2017. gentlemen, Captain America here. I just have to take a moment to say Matt Howell's vlogs are probably the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life, and I've been around a long time. Until next time, Avengers, assemble! Huh. Oh, thank you, Captain America. My first testimonial. Huh.